my name is Sammy, and in preparation for today's virtual field trip, we took a short drive off of Bloomsbury Farm to show you my Uncle Brent's beehives. Uncle Brent is an expert beekeeper. He has taught me everything I know about bees, and today I'm going to share what I have learned. So, today we're going to talk about the three main kinds of bees that you'll find in these hives, what their jobs are, how they work together to keep their colony healthy, and how important bees are to the pollination process of some plants. Then, after we're done here, we're going to go back to Bloomsbury Farm and talk a little bit about why bees are so important to Bloomsbury Farm and the pollination of the crops that we grow. Let's talk a little bit about where honeybees live. Honeybees live in large families called colonies. Each colony can be made up of over 30,000 bees. Each colony has its own hive. Every once in a while, you'll run across one of these hives out in the forest. Usually they're made out of hollow trees or logs, but beekeepers like Uncle Brent use hives like this one. It's made out of wooden boxes stacked on top of each other. As I mentioned, there are three main kinds of bees within the colony, and each one has their own specific job. The three main kinds of bees are the queen bee, drone bees, and worker bees. The queen bee's job all day, every day, is to lay eggs into the honeycomb to make sure that the colony continues to grow. She lays over 2,500 eggs per day and around two million in her lifetime. That is a lot of eggs. She lays the eggs in the honeycomb cells like you see here. She can decide whether she lays an egg to hatch into a female bee or a male bee, whatever the colony needs at the time. All of the bees in the colony want to protect the queen because she is the only bee that is able to lay eggs to make sure the colony survives. If something happens to the queen, that is bad news for the colony, so all of the other bees take special care of her. The second kind of bee you will find in the colony is called a drone bee. These are the male bees that are responsible for mating with the queen bee. They eat leisurely and aren't really equipped to do the hard work that many of the other bees in the colony are made to do, but they are still important. Out of the 30,000 bees in a colony, there are probably only 100 drone bees amongst the rest. Now, on to the third and coolest kind of bee in the colony, the worker bee. These are the honeybees that you are used to seeing buzzing around flower beds in the summertime. The bees you see buzzing around here are busy little worker bees. These bees have so many responsibilities and this kind of bee makes up the bulk of the colony. They truly keep the hive going. They build honeycomb and create the cells in the comb. They act as nurse bees and care for the eggs that the queen bee lays inside. They work to store the honey inside the comb. They tend to the queen bee and protect her. They guard the hive and keep intruders out. Intruders could be bees from other hives, wasps, skunks, or bears. They can fly up to three miles away to find flowers and blooms to suck nectar from to bring back to the hive. They also collect pollen from these plants. The pollen and nectar are food for the bees, but the fact that they pick up the pollen is also very important to us. Every time they land on a bloom, they pick up a little bit of pollen. Then, when they fly to the next plant, they bring that pollen with them and pollinate plants all over the place. Here we are, back at Bloomsbury Farm. I am standing in what will be our pumpkin patch this year. This summer, we will plant all of our pumpkin seeds into this dirt. Those plants are going to grow and grow, and then bees are going to become more important than ever because they're going to help pollinate all those plants to make sure we have plenty of big orange pumpkins for you to choose from this fall. The bees are also going to be very important in the pollination process of our zinnia flowers and our sunflowers. 
whatever season it is, bees are important to Bloomsbury Farm. Thanks everybody. Thanks for growing with us. Thank you.